Hello, you're most welcome to Done. I'm David Schönholm, and this episode is about how to prevent structure from holding you back. But first, I have a new video out on 3mintalk.com in which I share how I can stand working with such a seemingly harsh, boring, and square concept as structure. Watch the short video at 3mintalk.com or on the structure blog at stjernholm.com slash blog. I've always died a little on the inside when hearing words such as structure, order and routines, wrote a reader of my book on structure last week. I perceive this to be a rather common perspective on the subject in question. Perhaps it has to do with the fear that structure will bring on rigidity, limitation and even boredom. I understand this concern and I am therefore pleased to announce that it by no means needs to become reality and that it is up to ourselves if it does or not. You see... We don't need to structure absolutely everything. Not even I want to do that. When it comes to getting certain things done, we do, however, want to benefit from the predictability good structure provides us with. And when it comes to other matters, we want to enjoy the spontaneous, unpredictable and creative without considering the format, tempo, efficiency or having to do things in a particular order. I made a sketch to make it clear where I personally draw the line of structure. On a horizontal sheet of paper, I drew a large circle in the middle, similar to the flag of Japan. Within this circle, I spontaneously wrote down the things I do, both in my work as well as in my personal life, for which I appreciate using structure. Outside the circle, I wrote down things I want to feel free whilst doing, free from structure and routine. All in all, this exercise took me no longer than, say, five minutes. I looked at what I had written down. Within the circle, I had written things that generally are not fun but necessary, that have to work, otherwise things get difficult or stressful, and that are useful, but which I tend to skip anyway. Outside of the circle, however, I wrote things that are enjoyable, that are about being present in my relationships with my loved ones, and that are fun. That was the breakdown of my list, perhaps yours will be different. Some things actually had a foot on each side. They were written halfway inside and halfway outside of the circle. An example of such an activity would be that I very much enjoy taking our little boat out for a ride. When I am at sea on an island, I want to feel entirely free to do whatever I want. But in order for the whole affair to be an all-in-all pleasant experience, I need to have remembered to pack and bring all the necessary food, supplies and equipment. Packing requires structure. Enjoying an uninhabited island in the archipelago does not. Except for it being enlightening as to what I should keep my structure in pause away from, it also occurred to me that there was at least one thing written in the circle for which I currently have not developed adequate structure or routines. That is why I just thought of a way to make this one thing slightly more structured. So, if all goes well, this slight improvement will make me enjoy the activities outside of the circle even more, since if the things in the circle run smoothly, I will be able to relax and enjoy those outside of it even more. Do this. If you should want to, draw your own sketch of where your limits of structure are. Inside the circle, you write down all the things you want to do using structure. And outside of it, you note all the things you would rather do free as a bird and with not a structural thought in mind. Look at what you wrote. Can you draw any new conclusions? Do you need to structure anything further? Do you have fewer things outside the circle than you would actually want? Do you have so many things you want to spend time on that this exercise even made you feel a bit stressed? Could you remove something and enhance lower your ambitions to a reasonable level? Did you notice anything else? Because if you create good structure for all the activities you want running smoothly and with as little effort on your part as possible, you will to a greater extent be able to wholeheartedly enjoy all the things you do not wish to systematize or structure. The structure then enables the spontaneous rather than limit and restrain it. The reader I mentioned earlier continued her letter with... But now I am beginning to think of these three awful words as something that can help me live the life I want, both at work and privately. And that's spot on, if you ask me. What became clearer to you as you draw your version of the sketch I told you about? 
write to me and tell me. I would like to hear your revelations. You will reach me by emailing david at stjölholm.com and I'm all ears. And thank you for listening to this week's edition of Done. I see you again next week. Mm-hmm.